Well, it's a beautiful day in Kentucky, so I figured it'd be a good day to install my dish tailgater onto the roof of this RV. And uh, according to the instructions, this thing's got to get it, got to be so far away from any obstructions. So I got my, I got my tape measure here. I'm going to get this positioned. I got these cool little feet that will mount to the fiberglass roof. I got this really good stuff. Um, I've used it actually. I used it back here on years ago when I put in my solar system. You see those aluminum pieces that there, there they are that are bonded to the fiberglass and uh, it's really strong adhesive. So that's what I'm going to use to adhere these feet to the fiberglass and then they'll float to that. Of course I'll put a couple screws in it but this fiberglass is really thin so it's, it's mostly just styrofoam but about five inches or six inches of styrofoam in the center so you don't want to rely on just that fiberglass to, to hold something like this on the roof so we got to do that and we had the obstruction issues so i'm getting rid of this piece here this was the old satellite dish the old things the old manual crank up things it was a real pain in the butt to get position and find a satellite so i've come up with this cap here just a sewer pipe cap and I'm going to fix it up. Probably get me some, some die core that'll seal it down. So I'm work, working on that too. So that's kind of today's project. And we'll get started. It's, uh, it's the dang bright on that roof. That, that sun, sunshine, that fiberglass roof, you can't see nothing. But anyway, here we go. The instructions on this thing. Height of obstruction. My air conditioner is about 15 inches tall. So I need 18 inches from the dish to the, to the satellite. Or from the air conditioner to the satellite. And a distance of 18 inches so that way i guess that way the the angle of the tiny satellite in here or the tiny dish in here will clear and pick up the signal from the from the satellite so anyway so that's what will will get me some cleaner and get, get, start cleaning on the roof and try to get things sealed oh and, and by the way you may be wondering about these mounting feet i'm using for the for the, di the dish tailgater um, the part number is MB600. Got them on Amazon. I think there's 18 or 19 bucks for these feet. Really makes it nice to uh, put them on the roof of the RV. And you want to remember, uh, they, these come with rubber feet. But they warn you for some reason, they don't want you to put the rubber feet on if you're installing it onto your roof. Don't know exactly why, but I know that was in the literature. So. But there you go. I've got these put down just momentarily. So, because I just I lined this up. I had it on there. It's always hard to do stuff with one hand. Carefully made my measurements. And I've got my plate screwed down. And I found out it takes a really thin wall, deep well socket, to get these screws lined up. These nuts. So, I'm going to have to pick. I don't have one. So I get to run and pick up some new sockets. So I get that in there. But uh, now I'm going to lift this off. Now that I know where it's going to be positioned, I'll clean this off real good, and so I can bond it with that uh, sealer, so it won't go anywhere. Oh, did I say? I can't remember if I said yeah. Here's stainless steel screws I used, so I don't have to worry about any rusting in the future. Okay. So now what I've done. Gosh, it's so bright, can't see where I'm pointing the camera. But anyway, I took, um, got this good stuff here, 3M Marine Adhesive 5200, some really strong stuff. Let me show you how I've used this in the past. See back here, when I put these satellite dishes, or satellite, I'm on a satellite, that's satellite on the brain, solar panels, put these solar panels on here about four years ago. And I've bonded these, these aluminum blocks to the fiberglass roof. With this, with this same material, and I did it four years ago, still holding strong. And I rigged this up here with a hinge and a pin, so I can take that out, and I can tilt my panels toward the sun. We're in a spot out west somewhere, and we need some extra juice, so that's why I made it that way. Anyway, all right, so back to the this project. Okay, so, so what I've done, I got me some sandpaper, get my plates here. And the instructions they say don't get no sealant on this area, only only in, in this place. Whenever I got my holes pre-drilled, I uh, took sandpaper, scuffed it up, scuffed this up slightly. I'm about to put this sealer on here. I'll put these in place. Then once I do that, it won't be going nowhere for a long time. 
Then I'll put a little ceiling in these holes here. That's where the, um, the old bracket was that, where the old dish used to come down and land on. And also they warn about keeping these drain holes clear. You got like four, five drain holes in the bottom of this thing. And because you know those things are probably going to condensate and sweat sometimes. And so it gets that moisture out of them. So you want to be careful, make sure they still stay, they'll stay clear. All right, so let's get the cylinders placed down, but they're, they're loose. I haven't screwed them down yet. Each one just sitting there because I'm going to set the uh, dish on it first before I screw anything down so I know everything's lined up. It's not a work of art, but that should do. So I'll flip this over, put some screws in it, and ooze out just a little bit. Yeah, we should okay. be good. I've got, I've got all the screws down. Yeah. And you can see how it's oozed out just a little bit around the edges. Looks good. You know, this is just sitting on here loosely right now. So I'll let that cure for the night. And because I gotta go buy me a special thin wall socket that'll fit this, get that down there and tighten up those screws. So be making a trip to uh, Harbor Freight, it looks like. And then I gotta finish working on this project here to get this cap. Because I'm, I'm also gonna come back with Dicor, self-leveling uh, roof putty. I'll put over top of these screws. It'll level. Well, same as this material here. It's self-leveling Dicor. That's been on here since the, they built the RV in 2005. Really good stuff. It stays soft. I'll put that on top of the screw heads. And we should be in good shape. And everything will stay nice and dry. That's what we're getting down to the final stage. Um, because I wanted to eliminate this big goofy thing sticking up, didn't want it to block, block my signal. Didn't like the way it looked anyway. But in order to do this, originally, it had this big long shaft of the big old gear sitting up here. And that was like a hexagon shaft. It dropped down, then underneath, your little part that you twisted and rotated it, it's, it spun, but that's what held that in place. So without that, my little part underneath is it just don't look right, so I'll explain when I get to get underneath there. But but I made this little doodad. I had to improvise. So with this, so I just took took a piece of all thread and lock nuts. Won't go nowhere. I'll drop it down, and then I'll show you when I go back in, inside. It'll make sense how um, the little cranky handle will fit on there, and it'll look uh, original, like nothing's been removed. Uh, let me see here. So I got that, and next step is. I've got this cleaned up real good, and I'm gonna. Here's this. This is Dicor lap sealant. Really good stuff. This is the same stuff that was put on the RV right here back in 2005. You see how strong it is. It's still still there. It stays soft and pliable. Keeps all the water out. So I'm gonna lay me a big bead around here, and then sit this cap on it. Like that. So that'll keep any any water out. And then also this has a little a drain hole in the back. What water? comes in here will just just run out so I got that going on and I was also gonna talk about these cables luckily my original cable I can use I've done tested it, the signal I get HD HD channels with it but this is critical these this connection anywhere you make a connection on these satellites they really need a, a good clean connection to get your the HD channels a lot more than what you do have to deal with uh, in, in your house so I'm gonna clean this up really good with some sandpaper that, that, that copper connection and put it on the back here and get it good and tight and uh, get my wires all tidied up. I'll probably do that tomorrow. It's starting to get late. I just want to get my die core on here and get that sealed up. So let's get that done. Okay, so you can see I laid a good heavy bead of die core on there. So now I'll just set my cap on it. Squish it down. stuff will cure and be there for a long time. Shouldn't have to worry about that going anywhere. So got all that wrapped up. So, oh, and I believe, I'm trying to remember now, I had to, on these goofy nuts, they're special, odd sides, it's 11.30 seconds. So I have to run and get me some deep well sockets. And it's got to be thin wall in order to fit in here, 11.30 seconds, deep well, quarter inch drive socket to get those in there and get them tightened up with. I guess I'll climb back up here and do that, and this will be almost okay. Done. So remember, I was talking about 
this little hand cranky thing. So originally there was a hexagon shaft that came down. The hexagon shaft on top of the RV had a big gear on it. And the gear cranked the satellite dish up and down. So I've eliminated all that stuff, but I still had to make something to fasten this to because I didn't like the look of that. And I can't take this off because over the years there's a different shade of color to the fuzzy stuff here on the ceiling and you got a couple of holes that would just look bad. So I'm just going to leave this up here. And um, so but because my all thread, you can see the, there's a little bit of clearance. I just push about a quarter inch and I, I'm hitting that cap. And by the way, that cap was a four inch uh, uh, sewer drain pipe cap. But now all I got to do is just put this up here like that. Tighten up my Phillips screw. And it'll, it'll be, it'll look just like it always did. That's my plan. Okay, so it's all installed. It turns like it always used to. Lock it up. And so that looks good. Now I'll go up, up to the top and tighten up those goofy screws. I had to okay, lock. final step. I'm putting these screws in here or nuts. But if you listen closely, you hear that noise. You hear the satellite trying to find a, or the dish rotating around trying to locate the satellite. I just turned it on. In there, I should probably get out of the way because the satellites are up the, up up in the sky that way. So, me blocking the view is not going to help matters. So, uh, just remember, yeah, this socket is 11:30 seconds. It's an odd deep well socket that you'll need to get this tightened up with. But yeah, finish tightening those up, and I'll crawl down there, and hopefully, I'll have satellite TV, and this will be done. Not so bad. A couple hours. Get a shot. Yeah back here to actually see how it looks after it's all said and done. Dish tailgater <laughs> installed. Be quiet down there. <laughs> You're disturbing my video. <laughs> that was Ken Marvy buddy. Take oh, long, be sure don't forget to put your uh, die core over the heads of your screws because that's a lot of times that's where water will, will get into. I, I use the other stuff to, to bond the aluminum to the fiberglass but I'm using this to keep the water out so I've done done that one already so just got one more to go and look at this all sealed up this is a good sign acquiring signal we just gotta be patient we should have TV just very very soon well we now have HD TV off the roof so it is all done projects over on to the next thanks for watching